Hey guys, it's Georgie with all the MTV news before you clock off for the day for the footy. Sam Smith and Brandon Flynn have reportedly split up. We're sorry. According to The Sun, they are both so busy with their careers and unfortunately things just haven't worked out. The mystery source added that Sam is obviously devastated. This is the most significant relationship he has ever had. And while sources and tabloid reports aren't always the most reliable sources of factual information, there seems to be some truth to the news given that Sam's now deleted loads of pictures of the pair from his Instagram. That's right, no more pictures of them in blue elevators or drinking wine in front of barbecues or wearing matching blue and pink unicorn hats. Again, sorry. It's always strange seeing celebrity breakups because usually all we get to see are the cute couple pics of them gazing longingly into each other's eyes on a moonlit balcony or doing that weird arm wrap thing to eat oysters which looks more awkward than romantic but you get the idea. Also it's a bit like why would you ever break up with Brandon Flynn? What a babe. Thing is there's obviously a lot going on behind the scenes and happens and although it's hard to believe Celebrities are humans too, and are capable of doing lots of annoying things that lead to breakups. Whether it's sending passive aggressive texts about dishes, or cheating, or making really gross chewing noises whenever they eat. Of course, we don't know why Sam and Brandon broke up and don't want to speculate, but we do want to send them lots of happy thoughts because breakups are the worst. So if you've got any breakup tips, please leave them in the comments below for them or for me to jot down for future reference. Holly Hagen, official Geordie Shore star and unofficial Love Island commentator, has called out slut shaming on the show. The whole thing started when the contestants had to write down the number of people they'd slept with. This is going to get complicated, so we'll break it down bit by bit. First, Megan said she'd slept with 10. When Yael guessed she'd slept with 37, she got really offended and couldn't believe he'd guessed such a high number and called him out on it, which is a pretty clear example of internalized misogyny. The kind that sees women get shamed for having multiple partners, while no one bats an eyelid at Adam having 200-ish. This came up again when Laura called Megan a slag for stealing Wes, to which Megan said to Laura was unfair because Laura had actually slept with more people. To which Holly had some thoughts, tweeting, your number does not make you a slag. She adds, if you're single and not hurting anyone, then you f***ing do you. Don't preach equality in one minute and be part of the problem the next. I mean, well said, Holly. That's not all, with one woman on Twitter replying to Holly saying, makes me sad that young girls look up to this. Actively saying it's okay to sleep with as many people as you want as long as they're single, no. Girls need to know their worth and respect themselves before any guy can respect them. Which, sure, girls should know their worth because every girl is worthy, but let's be clear that your worth has nothing to do with the number of people you've slept with. Q Holly, who responded, Girls should know that they can do whatever the hell they want with their own lives without fear of other girls judging them for it. You can have respect for yourself and have sex with someone casually. If that's not you, that's okay. But if you judge others, you're part of the problem. Which is the crux of it. For hundreds of years, women have been taught that it's okay for men to sleep around, but not for women. That if a man has tons of sex, they're a player, and that if a woman does, she's a slut. Which is crap. The sad thing is, these narratives are so ingrained in society that it's easy for us as women to internalize them, either shaming ourselves for it, or as the Love Island saga demonstrates, shaming other women. Which is sad because shit, it's hard enough out there for us trying to get men to support us, let alone other women. We need to help, not judge one another. So ladies, Get out there and have all the safe sex you want. Or don't, whatever, it's literally your choice and you should never feel ashamed for doing exactly as you please. That's all from me, now go and sneak out of work early and park up in front of the footy because it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming. All right, bye. <laughs>